<sighs> Time to get rid of the lead acids. Today, we are gonna be installing some brand new lithium batteries in the boat. I'm stoked to be working with Epic Batteries. They hooked me up with three trolling motor batteries. It's the 12 volt, 100 amp hour marine trolling motor batteries and a 120 amp hour 12 volt dual purpose battery, which is gonna be used for cranking and running all of my electronics. So we're gonna go over some of these batteries, some of their capabilities, why they're better than lead acid batteries. We're gonna wire everything together and we're gonna go test it out. All right, so these are the two batteries that I'm gonna be working with on the Ranger for the foreseeable future. Now, this one is a dual purpose cranking battery and it has 120 amp hours. It's gonna be used as a cranking battery, so for the big motor and also all of the graphs and electronics. Now, why I love this is because I'm gonna be able to eliminate a battery from the entire setup. Before, I was running a cranking battery, three trolling motor batteries, and a fifth separate lithium just for the graphs because when I was running it off the AGM on eight or 10 hour days, my battery was dying and I wasn't even able to crank the motor over. So huge problem. That is definitely a huge highlight for me with this battery. And then we're gonna get into the trolling motor batteries, but I decided to run three 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries because you can get yourself a single 36 volt, 100 or 200 amp hour battery, I believe. But if something goes wrong with that battery, you're kind of dead in the water. Whereas if you have three individuals, and something goes wrong with just one of them, if you have an extra one laying around, which I do, I've never had to do this, but you can switch it out and continue to fish throughout the day. So that's why I went with three individual 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries instead of getting 136 volt. But I'm gonna throw all these in the boat. I'm gonna get everything wired up. We're gonna hit the water and we're gonna talk about some of the capabilities of both of these batteries. It's hot outside, I had to come in the van and cool off. The camera was overheating, but let's talk about both the dual purpose battery and the 100 amp hour lithium trolling battery. So the dual purpose battery is gonna cost $7.99. It's rated for up to 6,000 cycles. Some of the cool features on this battery, it's got an on off switch. It has a state of charge indicator located on the battery itself. It cranks outboards up to 250 horsepower and it has Bluetooth connectivity, which you can connect through the Lithium Pros app. So let's talk about the 100 amp hour lithium trolling motor battery. So these are gonna come in at $4.99 a piece. They also come with an on off switch, removable handles, some really beefy built in mounting holes on the battery itself. And these also come with Bluetooth connectivity. I'm probably leaving some of the features out, so I'm gonna leave both of these batteries linked down in the description below. If you wanna go check them out, you can get a full breakdown on each individual battery. But before we head back outside into the heat, I wanna tell you guys why I prefer and I think that lithium batteries are better than sealed lead acid batteries, your standard old school deep cycle batteries. So first off with your lead acid batteries, when they're discharged more than 50%, you're gonna lose a noticeable amount of power in the battery itself or like whatever function you're using it for. So for the trolling motor, I mean, I'm sure you guys have noticed it too when you're out and you're really draining that battery down and you've got the trolling motor on full blast and it's barely moving on 100%. Not only does that suck when you have plenty of daylight left to fish, if you're running lead acid batteries down below 50%, it's causing harm to that battery every single time. And no matter how well you maintain the battery and keep it charged, every time you take it below 50%, it's hurting it more and more and more. And if you're like me and you fish 12 plus hours, multiple days a week during the summer, they're not gonna last very long. Lithiums, on the other hand, you can maintain 100% power almost down to that last drop of charge left in the lithium. And granted, it would take you a while to get down to that last percent, I mean, probably days worth of fishing, but you're also not causing the battery any harm, discharging it down to 80 or 90%. Having more power over a longer period of time and not hurting the battery, both of those are huge selling points for me. And that actually brings me into the price here. So if we take a look at the lead acid batteries that I've been using, they're 200 bucks a piece. I need three of them, so we're looking at 600 bucks. If I can get two years out of a set of them, I would be happy. If you went with the 100 amp hour Epic Lithiums at 499 a piece, it's $1,500 out of the gate. Yes, it's gonna be 
2.5 times more expensive, but it basically comes to breaking even after four and a half years and the Epics come with an 11 year warranty. So it's kind of a no brainer. So the third and final advantage of using lithiums for me is gonna be the weight. So we'll start with a dual purpose battery. That one is 29 pounds versus the AGM, which weighed in at 64 pounds. And the trolling motor batteries that I took out were 58 pounds a piece versus the 33 pounds a piece for the Epic Lithium 100 amp hours that I exchanged them with. So took 110 pounds out of the Ranger. Now, this may not be too big of a deal for you guys running 21 foot boats with 250s, but if you're running a smaller boat or a John boat, you're not gonna be running four batteries most likely, but even if you're running a 24 volt trolling motor and you have an extra battery for all of your accessories and graphs, you, know, you can still save up to like 75, 80 pounds and in a 14, 16, 18 foot boat, that makes a huge difference. Definitely keep that in mind if you're running a smaller boat. And again, for me, I just love having the extra power and I know that I can rely on these over a 14 plus hour day in the summer. So that's why I personally switched to lithiums. And I wanna know what you guys think down below. Have you made the switch over to lithiums yet? And if you haven't, are you going to? All right, let's go get this thing rigged up. Dropped the boat in, it started up first shot. Actually sounded like it had a little bit more power than when I was starting it with that AGM. That thing is probably a few years old anyways. So having a fully powered lithium, it just sounded like it started up quicker. Could just be my brain playing with me, but I'm just telling you what I thought. So something pretty cool about all these batteries is that they are Bluetooth capable. And I'll pull it up on the screen real quick. For the cranking battery, you have to use the Epic Pro app. And you can see right here that the battery that I'm currently connected to shows you the state of charge, which is 99%. Um, it shows you the current that's being pulled, which is 5.3 amps. And that's both of my graphs and live scope. It has 120 amp hours. You can see the temperature there. You can see when you click over into details, um, all of the warning signs for the battery, everything's good and normal and you can check each individual cell, which is pretty cool. Also, something that's pretty awesome is you can see the time to full discharge on here, which is 22 hours, and I have everything on. Now, let's see if we throw on like a bilge pump, live wells. So that's pulling an additional five something amps, so That'll give us 12 hours and 46 minutes worth of charge. But the cool thing is since it's hooked up to the battery and it has the alternator, it'll charge that battery up when you're running too. So I think we're gonna be good with this. But let's move on to the trolling motor batteries and see how they work. So one thing to keep in mind, you do have to turn these things on by holding down the power button for five seconds on each one. So we're gonna go get on the trolling motor. We're gonna run it for as long as we can today. Don't have too much time this afternoon, but it should be enough to draw it down a little bit. This is another one that you can also check off of an app. It's gonna be a different app though. It's the Epic Lithium Ion app. And you can see all three of the batteries on here. And you can get statistics off of those batteries as well. All right, we have the trolling motor on full blast. We're gonna open up the Epic Lithium Ion app and we're gonna check these batteries. So I've got three that are connected or can be connected through the Bluetooth. It's, I've probably been fishing for like two hours. They're all at 100% still. And you guys can see on the screen here, it's still got 103.7 amp hours in capacity left. We could troll on full blast for 199 minutes. 
So that's three hours on full speed with the Garmin Force, 100 pound thrust, 198 minutes now, but it's pulling 31.2 amps. Um, again, just like with the other app with the dual purpose cranking battery, you can check the cells, you can see temperatures, you can also keep track of the cycles that the batteries have had. Um, I mean, basically everything you could want to see is on here. That's insane. So that's like three hours of keeping the trolling motor on 100% before they would die. That's a lot of time. So besides the Bluetooth features of both batteries, you also have extremely safe and high functioning BMSs on these batteries and that's the battery management system. So both the positive and negative terminals have temperature sensor so if one of them gets way too hot it'll automatically shut off the battery if you were to somehow crack the battery and there was water intrusion it would also shut the system down basically there's just a ton of fail safes in there that will turn the battery off if something is wrong with it to keep it from having any sort of catastrophic failure after using lithium batteries for the last five ish years I've never had any issues and I feel like I've never even heard of anyone having one so yes, there are potential dangers out there, but the chances of something going catastrophically wrong, especially with batteries as smart as these that have these backup systems for safety that will shut the battery down, you'll be perfectly fine. It's kind of hard to do a full review video on batteries because you literally get them going. I can talk about some of the cool features on it, obviously, but once they're working, they're working. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in three weeks to a month, I'll probably have fished 15 to 20 times in that amount of time and we'll go ahead and do a full review video on these epic batteries both the cranking and the 12 volt 100 amp hour that I'm using for the trolling motor huge thanks to epic batteries for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring the channel I am super stoked to be working with them if you guys want to check out these epic lithium batteries I'll leave both of them linked down in the description below hope you guys are looking forward to the full review video or the one month in video with the epics We'll see you guys there. Thanks again for watching. See ya.